Hello everyone, Gaming is Life here, and today I'm going to be talking about Phil Spencer becoming the head of Xbox. So, um, in the background, I'll just be having playing um, a game of Minecraft survival games. I have it playing at two times the speed of normal, just so that, you know, I don't have to talk on forever. But, hopefully you guys enjoy. So, anyway, getting back to business, when Don Matrick announced his leaving from the, uh, as the head of Xbox, it was a big mystery as to who was going to take up his spot. And Phil Spencer has been on the team for a while, so he seemed like a good fit, and I'll talk to you guys more about that as I go on, but I want to go on about Don Matrick and why he left. So, obviously, um, he, he left and he said, he didn't say he was fired, but I have different ideas about that. So he went and became, um, a part of the team Zynga, or Zynga, Zynga, it's a app team, and so basically he's going to be the head of that now, okay? But, kind of the suspicious thing is, bef r before he left, he was under a lot of fire for the mistakes he uh, made with the E3 presentation of Xbox, the whole constantly online thing. If you don't know about that, I will have another video up about that, even though it's been a while, <laughs> almost a year. So, he was on a lot of trouble. A lot of gamers were mad at him. He didn't make good marketing decisions, and he left. Was it because he was in a hot spot with the executives at Xbox? I don't know. He, it, might, it may have been. But anyway, he's doing good at Zynga. So, it was in question for a long time who was going to be the new leader. And who's going to fit that spot well. And I think... I think when they chose Phil Spender, Spen, sorry, Spencer, they made the perfect choice. He immediately um, basically fixed everything that the gamers had wrong with the Xbox One. Or he said, you know, that's what he's going to focus on in the future. So, <laughs> when they asked him what his plan for the Xbox was in the future, it was a pretty one-sided conversation because he just they would ask him oh well what are you gonna what are you gonna do with this you know he's like oh we're games you know games and he very much emphasized the fact that it's all about the games and that's true that's why i think he's the perfect fit because in the end well yeah sure xbox one is the all-in-one entertainment system yeah, you can watch TV, there's a Blu-ray player, you can stream or whatever. But in the end, the people who are buying these systems are gamers. And what do they like to do? They like to play video games. And that's why I think his even obsessive interest with the video games that are coming to Xbox One is, an, is a great thing. So... What will this mean for the future of Xbox? Well, I'll tell you um, one change that he already made. And this is... I, I don't know if this is good or not. I'm kind of debating it in my mind. As he... And they just made this um, a couple days ago. It hasn't even come out yet. Um, they made the announcement. announcement. Basically, they promised when they uh, first were releasing Xbox that all Xbox Ones will come with a connect. It'll be automatically connected. And there were problems with that at E3 about it, you know, constantly listening to you security problem. But here's the problem. They broke their lie. And it's a, is it a good thing? Maybe. Um, so Phil Spencer, because he's at Xbox, you can pretty much do whatever you want with the system. First thing he decided was to take that away and that's a good idea on ter in terms of marketing because they are they 
launched in like the UK, um, the US, but really they have not launched in. I think they've launched in 13 major markets, but they haven't launched in a lot of Europe um, yet. Like they haven't launched in China, and uh, I I don't even know that list, so I'm not gonna talk about it. But it's a lot of the problems was people were saying with the connect they don't want to pay the extra oh and oh i almost forgot this you know they don't the thing about it is they not only did they take away the connect but because the connect is no longer attached to the deal instead of being five hundred dollars the xbox one is now four hundred dollars without the connect and this is such a big marketing thing against the ps4 because the the big foot up that the PS4 had on Xbox One was that, oh, we're a hundred dollars less, and a lot of gamers don't have a big budget to just spend on whatever they want. So, if they really, if it comes down to it and they have no idea which one is better, they're gonna choose the one that's a hundred bucks less. You know? Um, I, oh, I'll, I'll state this right now. I personally only have an Xbox One. I've played PS4 before. It is great. I, I like Xbox One better, and I'll just say that. And I am totally biased, so I'm. don't take my opinion as a fact and don't mind it much. I'm just saying that I'll try to keep opinion out of this and just put down the facts. But I think that um, Phil Spencer being the head of Xbox is going to be great for Microsoft and the whole Xbox One system because Microsoft is going or Xbox is going to uh, push more development companies to make better games and you know there'll be more game oh they announced that um there will be you know games with gold which means like if you have Xbox Live gold it'll be free which is awesome if <laughs> the problem is the first two games I already have I bought them but anyway Phil Spencer being the head of Xbox is simply great I I don't know what else to say I mean we can be confident that great games are going to come to the Xbox one and that's just great for everyone who has one so anyway guys this was gaming is life i really hope you enjoyed if you did like comment and subscribe it really helps me out and for you gamers techies need ner nerds geeks alike keep on gaming it's what makes the world great kind of anyway hope you guys liked it see you guys later